Coming up on this episode of Repo Man Uncut. Back it down. Mate, mate, mate. Oh, shit, me, rip. Ain't even your argument, is it? No. Mate, mate, mate. What are you doing? Mate, you ain't going to get in your cab, are you? You are insane. Absolutely insane. Doors open. Sean James is one of Britain's most successful repossession agents. A Gulf War veteran whose life has led him into and out of hundreds of dangerous situations. No, 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 no. With 17 years of recovering property for finance companies and a complete lack of any healthy fear for his own safety, the repo man has built his reputation on succeeding where other repossession companies have failed. You fucking idiot! All right, mate. Even the repo man needs backup, and that often comes in the form of X Forces Marine H. Let me get out. Oh, here we go again. Nice mid morning start today. It's always better than getting up at 2 a.m. This one is a taxi at a business address, so it's better for us to go during working hours. It's H. Easy. As soon as H knocked the door, my little boy come running to the door. Bless him. I think he wanted to come repoing with us. <laughs> and, I might add, it'd be better than some of the repo agents out there. Right. Oh, Today's one. We've got taxi and workshop. No one can find him, but he still drives a taxi. And it's a taxi we're after. Okay. So... We're just going to go, obviously, check the old address, make sure that the other agents weren't shit. No, obviously they were. <laughs> obviously they were. Yeah. And then what we do is ring the taxi company and see if he's working. Oh, cool. I mean, if he's not, we'll see if we've got another address or we'll, we'll pretend we're couriers dropping stuff off for him. Any bollocks, really. What's up? I'm going to You want to go on the trampoline? I've got to go to work. I've got to go to work. You want to go on the trampoline? I've got three kids, one partner. There's Lucas, who's the oldest, typical teenager, getting a little bit stroppy, thinks he's a repo man already. Then I've got Obi, mad about cars. He, he likes to get his cars lined up and does his own repoing, he's free. And then you've got Logan, who's one. He just chews the cars. H, got to go on the trampoline, mate. Don't H to come on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you want H to come on? No, oh, come on then. H, five minutes, mate, I've got to get on the trampoline. Being a repo man, we work all hours. Sometimes we don't get back to early hours of the morning. Two hours kip, and then we're straight back out again. So, I spend as much time with the family as I can. If Obi wants to have a little play on the trampoline, so be it. He's getting trampoline time with Daddy. The repo can wait. Wow! I wouldn't say he was quite a good trampolinist. All he does is climbs on my shoulders and go, Daddy, Daddy, higher, higher, so. <laughs> I'm cool. I'm good, thanks. Go. Come on, Daddy, get you off. Their playtime's all the time. My kids don't understand. Daddy's got to go and repo. Daddy's got to go to work. You ready now? One more kiss. And a cheek rub. Mmm. Alright, love you. Love you. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, you can go on it next time, mate. Oh, fancy not going on a trampoline with three year old. Me? On a trampoline with my back? I don't think so. Get the keys. H, why can't we have huddles, snuggles, cuddles and cheek rubs? Do we really need them? Can I have a cheek rub? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Got a long drive now to work shop. This guy's took out finance on a taxi. Hasn't been keeping up repayments, but he's quite happy to use the taxi to earn money for himself. Other agents have been to his address before, but we've got a few tricks up our sleeve to track him down. Hi H, the reason why we're taking the van today is because obviously if we take the truck and we're trying to go around the town looking for him, he's going to see the truck in and just drive off. 
he's got to know it's up for repo. So take the van, we can drive around all day looking for him until we've got him. Should we give him a lift home if he's all right? Can do. Charge him. <laughs> Time and How off. do you wait your meter, mate? That's 50 quid to get home. Time and off. Time and off. Lovely chap. <laughs> Welcome to Workshop, H. Welcome to Workshop. First place to check is his house to see if the taxi's on the drive and see if he's in. Other agents have tried this address before, but I always check for myself. There's a lot of clueless agents out there. 96. 90. Oh, it's for sale. Look at that. Ooh. That's nice, isn't it? It is indeed. 98's for sale. All right, let's ring control, man. Let's find a cold sack, ring control, and get him to come to us. Oh, cool. Looks like the bloke's moved on. Let's hope he still lives in the same town or moved to the same area, and let's hope he still works for the same taxi company. We move to a quieter road now, park up, give a taxi company a call, see if the bloke's on. Hello, taxi. Hello, is Derek on today, please? He is, but he's doing a drop off. Um, do you know how long he's going to be, please? He'll be probably about 20 minutes. Can I send somebody else? No, 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 no. It's all right. I'll wait for Derek. He normally drops us in. He, know, he knows us. Um, I'll call back in 20 minutes. Okay. All right, thank you. Bye. Bye. He's on. That's good. That is good. Jobs are good, isn't it? Yeah. So should we have a look? Should we have a look around town, see if he's there, then park up? Sounds like Call him into us. We've got 20 minutes now. We know he's working. We know he's doing drop-offs. We'll have a quick drive around town, see if we can spot him before we make the call. It could be anywhere. Could be anywhere. After 20 minutes of looking, it's time for him to come to us. We need to find a coldy sack so there's only one way in, one way out, so when he comes in, we can box him in. He knows it's up for repo, so he's going to be cautious and he's going to have his guard up. There you go, Kipling Close, got a little T on it. There you go, this will do. Well, this looks a nice place, doesn't it, H? Oh, it does, mate, it does. Nice dead end. Nice place for a taxi. Nice place for a taxi. <laughs> Better turn around and call him. Here's a dead end, isn't it, to make sure. He ain't going nowhere, is he? No, he's not. This place will work. We grab a random flat number, give him a call. Hi, C Park Taxis. Yes, hello, sorry to bother you again. Um, I rang earlier, I just wanted to know if Derek was free yet. Hang on a moment. Taxi signs one coming, please. Yeah, you're free for a pickup. Okay. Hi, sir. Did you need picking up now? Yes, please. Okay, whereabouts are you? Um, I'm at 31 Kipling Close. Okay, and you want that straight away? Yeah, and that's Derek coming, yeah? Yes, yeah. All right, then. Thanks very much. Okay, then. Bye. Bye. Let's go and wait for him, then. Let's just hope he's not borrowing his mate's taxi. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go and hide. Let's go and do it. Let's go and call some AM. <laughs> Finding somewhere is critical. We need to park up so we can see him come in, but yet not give our position away. If we get too close, it will make him suspicious and he'd just drive off. We've found a spot on an adjacent cul-de-sac. It's perfect because he can't drive past and clock us. So we're going to sit now, wait, and then we're going to follow him in, box him in. Right, then, let's just sit here and wait. Should be here any moment. <laughs> he is actually one minute late. Absolutely. There it is. There it is. There he is. Oh. That's the one, mate. Let's do this. That's the one. All right, let's go and box him in. Let's go. Now it's time to act quick. We've got a two minute golden window where he won't have a clue what's going on. Little rascal. Yes. Get the reg, just check the reg. That's the last 50 foot. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. Oh, he's even left it running for us. Keys are in, the engine's running. 
This dude ain't switched on as we thought he would be. Should you, should, should you bugger off? Hey, have you got a repossession order there? You can tell this is a quiet neighbourhood. Most parts of the country, that car would have been gone already. Taking your lunch, your wallet and your takings for the day as well. You ain't going to be too happy, is he? he? Oh no, don't say he's knocking number 31. There's a good possibility. He'd be pretty pissed when he hasn't got a cab, hasn't he? So, and a fare. So whoever lives there as Did well. Did he look like a big bloke? I didn't really see him. Nah. It's tight, it's tight now, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, here he is. Yeah, he is. Right, is it Dave Johnson? Yeah. We've got a repossession order for your taxi? Not this one, no. Yeah, we have. No, 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 this one's mine. No, we've got a repossession order for your taxi. For what reason? There's a repossession warrant. It's your moved house, so we had no choice but to ring the taxi company and get you here. It's a load of crap, so just give me the keys mate, back. Mate, you ain't going to get the keys, back. are you? Give me the keys back. Oh. Mate, you ain't going to get the keys, are you? Give me the keys back. Alright, you ain't going to get the keys. Mate, calm down. Mate, just take the keys. Mate, look, just calm yourself down, all right? Take that and pick it up there. Mate, that's your repossession warrant. This is for you. I don't want that. Just this dude just ain't getting it. That taxi don't belong to him now. It belongs to us. Mate, you ain't going to get in your cab, are you? Hey, sit in the cab, mate. Sit in the cab. Sit in the cab, mate. No. Calm down. All right, taxi's going to go, all right? Calm yourself down. Is there anything in there you need? Yeah, new money. All right, we'll get your money out, but you should have used that money to pay a finance company, shouldn't you? The taxi's going to go. Where's it going? It's going to secure compound. And when do I get it back? As soon as you pay for it. It's paid for. I've done it all. Done it all right. It hasn't paid for, is it? That's your no, warrant there where you just screwed up. If you read that, it tells you six months in arrears. It's not six months in arrears. I've paid it. Same old, same old. Every time, it's either they're paid, it's not their fault, or it's the fault of the finance company. Pardon? How come you're, number, you're number 31? Yes, I am. I've been called for a taxi. Ah, uh, this is all we need. I didn't realise he'd knocked the bloke's door. All we done is we needed this bloke. We needed to get him here. And sorry if we've used your address, but... If you we... want to go back in? I just I just think it's totally uncalled for we're just using my address. I am. If these have. Yeah, but... Tell these. Tell these. What? Do you want me to phone police? Yeah, it's these idiots who've called you. Oh, and they've sent me here to your house to get a taxi. Know, these, they're a bunch of modern day fucking pirates. What do you mean, modern day pirates? A repo, mate? I bet you this dude's been hit by a repo team before because he does not like us one bit. Look, hey, stop swearing us, right? We're not swearing at you, are we? Yeah, but just get him going about his business every day, you know what I mean? It's just fucking on it in. Who's rattled this cage? I'll tell you what, I wish it were my taxi repossession because you'd be getting absolutely nowhere with me, I can tell you right, that. Why don't you go back in your flat and do yourself a favour? Ah, I'll go back in my flat and get my bat out, that's what I'll do. Yeah, and then you get it round my head. Oh, uh, whatever. Go and grab your bat. Hey, get out, mate. So what did you go and say that for? This is always a case when you're repossessing someone's car. They always try and drag someone else into their argument. It happens time and time again. Oh, for fuck's sake, mate. <laughs> I'm staying with the vehicle just in case this dude's got a second set of keys to drive off with a taxi. <laughs> Oh. It's only a baseball bat. Good luck with that, mate. mate. Back her off! <laughs> mate! Ooh, 20 seconds to get that bat off him. I think Sean's losing his touch. <laughs> mate, calm down, will ya? Well, just, well, we'll just leave you alone then. Alright? Yeah. And even your argument, is it? No. Even though he's run at me with a bat, I've got to let him up. He's not even my customer. <laughs> But I'm keeping his bat for now. We could quite easily put the windows through on the taxi, or even worse, on my van. Well, you fools now! Yeah, it weren't me. It's you fucking coming round taking taxis. Always someone else's fault, innit? What do you want now? I money out of the taxi. I said you'd get your money before you tried to set him on you us. You fucking stood there. Wait, let me through it. All right, get your stuff out. <laughs> no beds. Yeah. I'll drive a taxi. Taxi mate. Yeah, I'll drive a taxi. You can drive the van. Always fancied myself as a bit of a cabbie. Might drive down to London and clean up. Yeah, mate, it's your bar. See you later. Thank you, <laughs> yeah, nice doing business with you. All right, then, come on, H. Oh, well. Always me ending up on the floor. Where was H?
is looking pretty. Oh, what's this? Tom Tom? Oh, he's left his Tom Tom in here. Where's his little radio mic? Tom Tom, my dear. Taxi to base, mate. Taxi to base. <sighs> Come here, base. All right, mate. Just picked up, just picked up your taxi, mate. Not making a very good noise. All right, mate. Just returning to base, mate. Over and out. All right, mate. This will go well in Birmingham, this will. Bloody hell. King of a patch in this. Oh. Well, it actually suits me in here, doesn't it, this taxi? It does, actually. Oh, blimey, governor. <laughs> yeah, all sorts in here. I'll tell you, add some right sorts. Go down these smart cocktail bars, don't they? 20 pound a throw, trying to impress the ladies on the cocktail. Get in the cab, charge them a ten. Oh, good God, good. Sorry, it's not a ten, is it? Oh, cock and hen. Charge them a cock and hen. Whew. Don't even give you a tip. Jeez, who'd be a cabbie, eh? Who'd be a cabbie? <laughs> Never guess who I had in the back of my cab. Who's that? Had some right sorts, didn't I? I swear, I'll give me jubbies out, knock a fiver off. A fiver? I mean, no, I don't want to knock a fiver off. It's a rather fiver, but then, yeah, mate. Oh um, mate, oh she pulled them down, her jubblies are flopping around in the taxi like that. I was like, oh my god. But like I always say, you can look, you just don't touch. No touch. Right, you look, no, look, no don't touch. Alright, I didn't want to look. I didn't want to look. But you did. I don't know, I didn't want to look, but <laughs> I didn't want to hurt the girl's feelings. Oh. Okay. I didn't want to hurt the girl's feelings. I had a little look, acknowledged, and then back to driving. Got to go and get some cockled eels and all that. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I was born within the Bow Bells, you know. Proper <laughs> cockney me, done the knowledge and everything. Done the knowledge and everything. Yeah, I still use my Tom Tom. <laughs> anyway, I've got to go. I can't stand down around here talking all day, can I? Let's go. <laughs> Coming up, Sean and HP a little visit to a tattoo studio. <laughs> and a new member of the team wishes he'd stayed at home. Look, mate, mate, mate. Another day and another mid-morning start for the lads. It's a small ticket to Alden, which means they could be in for a rough ride. Alright mate. Alright, today's one look. Well I've got today, the old trusty. This hasn't been out for a while. The old trusty tool bag. When Sean brings a tool bag out, it means that we're going to be tearing up a floor or we're taking something apart. It may sound a bit heavy-handed, but it's the easiest way to get him to pay. When you walk into a premises with a tool bag, it does two things. One, it tells you you're there for business. And number two, if they don't pay, you're going to start taking the stuff out and start dismantling it. It's a tattoo studio. I've got about 20 grand's worth of finance on the whole building. So basically, when they went in there, they got a 20 grand finance deal out on sterilizer, laser machines, flooring, tattoo machines, fixtures and fittings. That means everything. Plasterboard, paint, the whole shop, mate. There's quite a lot of equipment on this job, so what we're going to do is we're going to start taking out the small items first and the most expensive items. Once they start going, if they still don't pay, what we're going to do then is we're going to start ripping up the floors. Let's hope it doesn't come down to that. Yeah, so we try, first off, we try and get the laser machines, the, the steriliser, the tattoo machines, things what's going to basically render their business useless. And then we go for the flooring and stuff. So they can always pay us and stop us any time. But apart from that, I don't know how many people are going to be there. I don't know if the shop's going to be full. It's a tattoo shop, so... It's a tattoo shop. Well, I've got me little bags of, bags of tricks. So, I don't know. Let's get on and do it, eh, I suppose. Soon find out, won't we? Some tattoo guys are pretty big. Added to the mix that they're covered in ink. From head to toe, they are just covered in tattoos. Gives the persona of being like a hard man, like they're up for a fight. All right, my mate, she's just here on the left. Just inside the precinct here. Um, let's be able to get round the back. Can't park outside, let's have a look. There's double yellow lines around the front, so we're going to have to head round the back. I mean, it'd be pretty embarrassing if we get told. I'm not expecting to be moving too much out of here. Once we start removing the equipment, this bloke's business is going to be closed down. It'll cost them more than the remaining finance to close for a few days, so we'll go and see what we want to do about it.
Well, mate, can I speak to Tim McGrath? Have a chat with you, please, mate. Do you want to have a chat here on private? No, mate, it is good. What's, what's up? Basically, when you took finance out on the tattoo studio, the twin grand finance for the steriliser, laser machine, flooring, tattoo machines, fixtures and fittings. Yeah. And you haven't kept up payments at all. Oh, uh, that's bollocks, mate. Do we do? I pay it every, every single month, mate, because I pay it to my broker, mate. Stuff's up for repossession unless you can make the payment today of 1,980 machines again. Nah, what you what you've been doing here, man? Nah, bullshit, bro. Well, we're going to start moving the equipment. You ain't taking nothing out of here, mate. Hey, just go and check the sterilizer, mate. Go and check the laser machine, mate. What are you doing, bro? Where are you going, mate? That's a serial number on it. One, two, five, six, seven. Oh, hey, 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 hey,
Yeah. Right. Shift it up. Shut the no. fuck up. He ain't, going it up. he ain't going nowhere. I told you. Won't you? Tell you what, insane. No, I'm not Absolutely that. insane. I will take that now. I don't. I don't. There's your fucking money. Drip. How many fucking walls do I have to be pushed through? Yeah. Right, you're at the shop, the man's paid you, put that back. H, it's alright mate, I've got the money. H, I've got the money. Everyone's big and hard when they've got a dog next to him. For all mate, this, mate. there's still a bloke sat there waiting for his tattoo. I clocked him on the way in, I clocked him on the way out. He's just still sat there with a smile on his face. He's just watched okay. everything. H, we've been paid, mate. Mate, That's what you're doing. Machine. Look, we've been paid, all right? Get laser machine. Yeah, I will go and get it, all right? Go and get it. Go and get it. Go on, you've done that. You've got your money. I've got people here later on for a lot. Right, at the end of the day, right, we've been paid, right? He's put me through the wall. He's gone through the wall with me. You've put me through the wall. Cost you 1,800 quid to go through a wall. But the thing is, we've been paid now. There you go. Yeah, so do you want your laser machine? Go and get state my fucking shop. laser machine, right, yeah? state of the shop. The state of the shop? The state of the shop? Are these guys for real? They're the ones what started the fight and they're the ones who put me through the wall. Could have come and asked for a fucking cup of tea, couldn't you, and speak Susan, about it? Yeah, all you do is come in here. Hey, just, just get the machine. Dog. Right, wait here, mate. Leave your dog here, we're going to get your machine. Go and get the machine. Get See you later, boys. Come around, y'all. Let's just get their laser machine, mate. Yeah, we've got to fix the shop now, lads. You've got a tattoo in half an hour, man. For fuck's sake, man. Fucking unit, 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 unit's gone, reception's gone, gone. jewellery counter's gone, mate. Right, and now when I'm shouting, yeah? They actually put me through a wall. Mate, I had the dog out the I'd rather have had the dog. Jeez, sweating, man. That was hard work, man, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You caught you shouting me to come up the stairs. I'm going to come up the stairs anyway. I forgot the dog hanging off me. Really? It's not a dog, it's a dag. A dag? We got paid, though. Mate, I've got put through a wall. Not once, mate. twice. What are you doing, mate? And I'm you're on about danger money. Fuck your uh, dogs, mate. Dads, whatever you want to call them. Did your job well, mate. When <laughs> can I start working for you? Whenever you're ready. But you're still doing the donut. <laughs> Sorry, mate. You're, you're good at that. You know you're good at it. Did you bring an FA or what? Yeah, yeah you're supposed to do. Where's the machine? In the back? Yeah, okay. I'm putting a kettle on, I'm having a cup of tea. Yeah, it's quite yeah, a man, I've got a cup of tea to do one. Do I have to carry the machine, or are you allowed to carry the machine? No, you can carry the machine. Yeah, but you work for me. You carry the machine, you work for me. Oh, I work. Remember? I'm the one who serves the warrants, gets chucked through walls, you guard the machines, don't you? You guard the cars. Let's get it done. Come on, come on. I didn't want to tell Sean that I didn't want to carry the machine because of the dog. But to be fair, he has just been put through a wall. If a repo man turns up unexpectedly, call a finance company and find out what's wrong. Where's the dog? Don't, don't chuck him through walls. Don't start arguing with him. Either make a payment or get on the phone, ring the finance company and see if you can try and sort something out. If there's an honest mistake, the finance company will call the agents off. But nine times out of 10, it's not an honest mistake. You've got to either pay or the stuff's going. Let's just get out of here, mate. There's plenty of warnings before we turn up. Letters, phone calls, emails, whatever. We rarely turn up unexpected. And the worst thing you can do is start to fight. That just shows that you're not going to pay. These guys try to fight their way out of it. The only thing they've got to show for it is a few broken ribs and a few days plastering to do. Coming up. With HOA, Sean enlists some help from his mechanic, who quickly wishes he'd stayed in his workshop. Look, mate, mate, mate. I haven't got H today. Lee's probably getting a suntan somewhere, so I'm left on a nice cold, rainy day on my own. Finance company have a car repo they want doing. It's only a local job, so Paul the mechanic is going to jump in with me, come along for a ride. He's not a repo man. He's done a few repos with me before. So when we turn up to a customer's house, I'll go and deal with the customer. Paul can go and stand by the car. Let's do this. Oh, wait, wait for it. Wait for it, go. <laughs> so, 
day then, Paul. Back us up, mate. I know, you, I know you're not as big as H and all that, but you are my mechanical know-how. I'm hopefully bring something to the team today. <laughs> bring <laughs> something to the team. You can bring the tees. There's no iron team. As if it kicks off. Do you want to go in first? I'll, I'll, I'll keep them at bay, so I'll just soften them up a bit. Soften them up a bit. Let him, let him punch you a few times. Yeah. And when you think he's had enough <laughs> of hitting you, then I'll just step in. I like your style. Wear him out first. Whereas H just lets me have a good scrap first, sits back, and then if I need him, he joins in. Joins in. Today was a bit of a moody day. One minute's raining, one minute's not. Hope that doesn't set the tone for the repo. Good old English summer, eh? Can't beat it. What car is it? It's a silver Ford Focus. One is there any details? I don't think there's any notes, is there? No, it's just, just straight quick repo. Payments, repossessed car. I wonder who's going to be behind door number one. Is he going to be an angry customer? Is he going to be a nice customer? Have we ever encountered a nice customer? Let's person? have a look through his car and find <laughs> out. <laughs> He's got a gun! I mean, nature's on about this the other day. Would you have a cup of tea off someone if they offered it to you? Mm -hmm. Depends on the person. Cute blonde. Yes. What about an ugly man? If he was nice, yes. Nice person. So, why don't you have a cup of tea off then? <laughs> you got one scale to the other, and one you're saying depends who it is. So, why wouldn't you take a cup of tea off? Of tea? Seventy year old lady. She could be expert in tea. I think somebody with a smirk on the face. I wouldn't have a cup of tea off somebody with a smirk or a smirk. Smirk. If they got a smirk on their face and said, "Would you like a cup of tea?" The answer would be no. I'll pass. Thank you very much, but I'll pass. All right, nearly here then, Paul. And I keep saying, joking apart, but let's get a serious head on. Right. The car's there, we just, if I can box it in, I'll just box it in. You just stay with the car or the truck. If it gets out of hand or anything, just walk away, mate. I don't expect you to jump in like H does and all that. Thanks for helping us out today. It's all right. Somebody's got to keep the truck warm. I think H is at a birthday party. Is he? I hope he brings cake. I bet he sat there now, have a little nut on, isn't he? Yeah. Some jelly. There's us, going out, earning a crust. 12 Keswick Flats. What's her Reg? SG51, it's a silver Ford Focus. Okay. Tom Tom's saying it's still down here on the right. We've got to be getting close. Hang on, silver Ford Focus. That's the one. SG51, that's, the, that's our Ford Focus. Is that yours, is it? <laughs> not burst. You can't repaint it. Right, let's box it in then. It can still reverse back though, off the grass. You just have to watch it, Paul. This isn't ideal with someone like Paul. Right. The bloke can just reverse the car straight off onto the grass and out. So we can't even really box them in. So what I've got to do now is try and get the keys as quickly as possible. Got a pay point. Number 12. It's Mark Long. Yes, mate. Can you come to the door, mate? It's Mark Long. Yes, mate. Yeah, it's a repossession order on your Ford Focus. No chance, mate. There's really no chance. You ain't having it. There's a repossession order, mate. Right? You ain't taking our call. Try and set the call. We will take you a call. Try and Car's gonna Charles go. Try and set the car. So I won't take it. Try and set the car. Go on, truck's there. Try and set the car. So you're not gonna get the keys? You ain't having the keys. Do you want to your stuff out of it? No, no chance. Oh, I'll just hook it go up then. The I'll just hook it up then. See what happens. This isn't looking too good. I really did need the keys on this one. Paul, watch yourself, mate. Paul isn't gonna be able to watch my back like H or Lee. All the signs are there for this bloke is gonna flip. His body language, everything. I really do have to watch my own back on this. Hey, the car's doing? going. Mate, the car's hey, going. Mate, the car's going. All right, the car's going. All right, mate, the car's going. You ain't taking the car. Mate, fucking car's going. All right, all right, all right. Paul, mate, he's gonna, he's gonna kick off. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. 
You sure? Yeah, I'm fine. Right. Whatever happens, don't let him get near this door. If I'm trying to get hook it up, just don't let him near the door. Right. All right. Need to get this hooked up quickly. If this guy comes out and kicks off again, Paul isn't going to be able to hold him back. He's a mechanic, not a repo agent. Right, Paul, we just dropped the spec. Mate, can you give us keys? No, you don't have any keys. Just give us keys, mate. It's going to be a whole lot easier, isn't it? The handbrake is on, which means I need to lift the car up from the back, lifting the two back wheels up. Car. Car's going. You ain't having the fucking car. The car's going. You ain't having it. Now, if I can't do that, I've either got to break the window, take the handbrake off, so I can lift it up from the front. The car is facing the wrong direction. Do you want your stuff out of it? You ain't taking that fucking car. Don't take that car. Easier for me to just smash your window and take the handbrake off. All right, that's what I'm going to do. She's being aggressive now. Any damage done to that vehicle, you're going to have to pay for. We'll see. You ain't taking that car. I can't get the keys, so I've got no choice. I'm going to have to put the window through. I'm not being funny, but you're a mechanic, mate. He's off his head. If I was here, it'd be different. Put the window through, take the handbrake off, hook the car up, and get out of here. All right, move that way, Paul. Paul, come here, mate. Glass everywhere. Reason why we don't break window in the front seat is because you sit on it later. Yeah, hold me up a minute. Cheers, mate. I fucking told you, you ain't taking that car. What, you hey, mate, it? put my knife down! Look, mate, mate, mate. Arm locked inside the car. I've got an agent outside the car getting threatened with a knife. This car is deadlocked. The only way I'm going to get out of this car is with a key fob. Taking the fucking car! Mate, door's open! Get the fucking doors open! Oh! I could hear him letting the air out the tyres. It was only a matter of time before he turned his attention <laughs> on me, Paul, or the truck. Now, yeah, yeah, hey, taking this fucking car. He's already gone round once, now he's going round again. This guy's definitely making sure these tyres are slashed. Paul, get us out, mate. Get us out. Hey, where's he gone? Has he gone inside? He's gone inside. <sighs> what are we going to do with this? I've got two tyres back at the yard. We only need two. I couldn't leave the car. He might have had spares to change them himself. Him being a total nutter, he probably would have drove off down the road with the tyres flat. I'll wait with the car and send Paul back to the yard. That guy's a nutter. It's not an ideal situation, but it's the only plan we've got. Standing in the rain on my own, let's just hope this psychopath stays inside where it's nice and warm. Forty-five minutes later, Paul finally turned up. 
I didn't think I'd ever say this, but I was really glad to see him. Did you get two, Paul? Got two wheels and tyres. I'm going to let Paul get on with it. As soon as our customer sees Paul changing the tyres, he ain't going to be happy. You have one done, yeah? That one's done, just got this one to do. Sean, done. Right, wheel's changed, we're getting out of here, but we've still got to strap up. We've got to do this quickly. The guy's still got a knife. He could come back out and slash the new tyres, and we're back to square one again. Paul can jump in the cab. I'll guide him back so I can stand guard. Left hand down, all the way, all the way. Perfect. Right, out you jump. Go on, strap up. Come on, Paul, let's fuck off quick. No, oh, mate, it ain't finished for you yet. Oh, mate, it ain't your car now. It's ours. Put the brick no, down. Mate. You fucking jokes, haven't you? Mate, a truck ain't having it, mate. A fucking, fucking truck, truck yeah, ain't having it. That's fucking still mine, mate. Fucking hell! Oh, Paul, let's go. Yeah. Still got some more. No fucking take it. Next time on Repo Man Uncut. Me took you half a second to get aggressive with me. Things got a little bit heated. You recording this? Have this shit out of practice. You fucking idiot! After throwing a customer, Sean finds himself being the one thrown. Get out of here! They're taking the drugs! Sean takes a bit more of a diplomatic approach while sorting out a problem for Lee's Andy before letting him take charge of his first Repo. This is going. Is there anything you need in it? Someone's now sure rolling around here. Say. What you can say, what you can say is stop in the yard. You'd I'm rather quite, stop I'm, in the yard I'm now. I'm quite happy with that. 